Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe. On, on the, the go. go. So Jen, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm tired. We had a, a little tired. busy five days. A uh, very busy weekend. Very busy. But it was good. It was all good. So just, you know, I'm tired. <laughs> so we spent time in St. Pete. We spent time at Universal Studios and we finished up in Disney, but we're back in St. Pete because we're flying home out of Tampa. Yes. Because today's Joe's birthday. So everyone, make sure to leave a comment to wish Joe a happy birthday. Oh, please don't. I don't. Please I don't, do. I don't need to keep track of these anymore. There are too many. I've had too many to keep track of them anymore. So eh, every year is one year closer to death. Wow. Just it is what it is. Um, so anyway, we're here to do our pits and peaks video of our trip. Yes, there are definitely more peaks than pits. Yes, for sure. Yes. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, the short list for things that we were not all that happy with. Um, very very short list. I mean, I think we're going to do a separate video to compare the differences come you know uh, uh, between universal and yeah. disney but we understand there are two different parks right. that attract a different audience in terms of the rides and the attractions all of it yeah yeah but we're going to do a video after this actually it will probably be the second video to go up in this series and it will probably be up before we finish our January vlogs. Probably, we'll so see. So it's fresh. Don't put any pressure on me. I gotta figure out when I'm doing what and where and when. So yeesh, we'll get to it. So just to talk about cleanliness and accessibility. Just the yeah. And so, cast members versus team members. Yeah. So that's gonna be coming up, so make sure you look forward if you're interested. Yes. But right now it's the pits and the peaks. Yes. So let's start off with something positive. Oh, okay. Um, so positive, for the whole weekend in general, um, I think definitely just having the time here, um, mm -hmm. just I'm gonna say in general, having the time here in Florida, it was a busy weekend, but it was a lot of fun. It was very, very nice. I had a I really agree. nice time. I agree. I would say another peak was Mythos at Universal Studios. Actually, it's an Islands of Adventure. Excellent yeah. food and service. Yes, definitely. Because um, in terms of food, didn't like any other food at Universal. Um, that was definitely a pit. The food at Universal does not no. compare to Disney. No. It, no. Yeah. Not even close. So that was definitely a pit for me yeah. too. That just a different food at yeah. Universal. Not too thrilled with any of it. High, high prices for mediocre food. Yes. Mythos, on the other yes. hand, was definitely a peak. It was really good, a nice, good variety of different mm -hmm. things. And what we had, all of it was really good, uh, tasted really fresh. And then... Well, our, it was voted the world's best theme park restaurant. I can see why. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I can see why. Absolutely. And then um, uh, Madison is the one who took care of us. Mm -hmm. And it was only her fourth day there in the restaurant. Yeah. New job for her. She did great, so she that did. helped. It was a great conversation we had with her, so that was really pretty cool. Um, another peak for me, for sure, is just seeing family here in St. Pete. It had been a while since and I got to see them. And friends in Orlando. And then the friends in Orlando. So first it was Jen and Mark when we got together with them Friday night for the Mardi Gras parade uh, at Universal, which was its own separate peak. We'll get that to that in a second. That was a definite peak, yes. But uh, then also, obviously, after that, then it was with Stephen and Ann from New York and spending a few days with them over the course of the weekend. Um, just excellent and happy anniversary to you guys, to Steve and Arianne, because it's today is my birthday and it's their anniversary. It so is. happy, happy yeah. anniversary to you. Um, so that was cool, seeing friends and family, for sure. Yes, most definitely. And then um, the peak of the, um, uh, the parade. The um, Mardi, Mardi Gras parade. was fun. If you have not attended Mardi Gras yeah. at Universal Studios, highly recommend. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, I enjoyed the parade. A lot of fun. It was good music. Mm -hmm. The floats were pretty cool. Very cool. Um, I love just the people walking in between the floats. You mm -hmm. had the, um, the stilt walkers, yeah. and some of them just watching how they moved on those stilts. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. That also so. confirms to me that Disney needs a nighttime parade. Yeah, for sure. That, that was so much Well, fun. like you needed proof from that. I mean, well, just right. go back to right. Christmas in December mm -hmm. with Minnie's mm -hmm. very merriest, whatever mm -hmm. it was called, parade. 
um, that night. That was really cool seeing that parade with the toy soldiers, um, you know, and the Halloween parades that we've seen. Mm -hmm. We love that. So yeah, oh, are fun. a definite peak was running into our bartender friend Rob at Nomad Lounge. Yes, at, so that he, was pretty. He funny. used to work at Geyser Point, and he's been bounced around like most Disney employees um, have been since the COVID reopening. But I said to Joe at one point, we were sitting in the bar having some cocktails, and I said, that sounded like Rob. And Joe goes, Rob's not here. It's a guy's Literally, point. a few minutes later, Joe looks to his left, and he's like, Rob's here. I'm like, I <laughs> thought I heard his voice. So it was great getting to see him and yeah. talk to him and catch up with him. It's yeah. been a... Well, it's like, been a couple few months. I think we saw him... Did we see him in January? I don't know if we saw him in January, but in December, I think we saw yeah, him. Yeah, we did yeah. see him in December. So... So that was cool. Shout out to Rob. Hey, Rob, how are you? Yeah, Good that was to see great again. seeing him. So, um, so that was actually cool. I think, too, getting to see all the different things Universal since we hadn't been there for so long. That was a definite peak. Yeah. I loved doing some of the attractions, ones that we'd done before, mm -hmm. like E.T., classic. Mm -hmm. You know, we loved doing that. But then the new ones. Um, so <laughs> Hagrid's definitely loved that ride that was really cool you i'm glad i got to do it once but there's no reason for me to do it again. you didn't like it as much as you wanted to like it um but you still had it was fun, fun. yeah um, speaking of hagrid's a big pit would be that we hmm. waited in line for an hour and 20 minutes hagrid's had broken down while we were waiting in the queue yeah. um we left after standing in line for an hour and 20 minutes we walked out but our good friend, Arian, really wanted to ride it. So Steve and I went and found a cast member and explained to them what happened. And they were like, Taking the like, dog out, sorry. Too bad, so sad, that's what happens. And I'm like, no, that's just really not acceptable. We waited an hour and 20 minutes because it was technical difficulties. And this is how we chose to spend our hour of, I don't know what they call them, but it's like, early morning hours. It's their version of extra magic yeah. hours. So you just get into the park um, an hour early if you're staying at one of the Universal right. Resorts. So the team member I spoke to was kind of like, yeah, nope, not gonna do anything for you. So I said, well, you know what? I'd really like to speak to a supervisor. So he went and called someone on his radio and he came back then with four red tickets. And he's like, okay, so you can use these to hop the line. I don't understand why he just couldn't have done that in the first place. Well, you need the right it's kind person. Of like a nice customer well, service type yeah, of thing. You need the right person who can who can grease the wheels, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, um, so then Joe was able to ride it a second time, and Ariane and Steve were able to ride it because their time at um, Universal and Islands was very limited. yeah, they were very limited. Yeah. and you decided not to ride it, right. so um, so it worked out okay. Oh, hold on, pause. Oh, hold on. Loud. These buses down here are loud. They are. Aren't they? I don't know. That was loud. Okay. Another pit was staying at um, Port Orleans Riverside in a royal room. That had been quite a few years since we've done that. That was a pit? No, that was a peak. You I'm said sorry. Pit. That was a peak. I was going to say, wait that a minute. That was kind of nice. You didn't that like it? No, I loved it. Yeah. Um, I do think those rooms need a little bit of a, a refurb, a little yeah. bit of a sprucing up. But still very magical. If you look at the way they're decorated, they're they're trying Best to be themed rooms. Yeah, Disney, they're trying to be sure. elegant and mm -hmm. a room that a princess would create or a princess would stay in. We had a great location. In. Yeah, close yeah. to everything. Yeah, so that was good. I want to go back to Universal though because not only with Hagrid's but um, right after that we ended up riding Velocicoaster, mm -hmm. which I did Jen not. did not. There's no way. Ariane was trying to push her to do it, and afterwards, I'm like, there's there's no way. <laughs> there's no way you could have done it. But that whole experience riding that ride, first off, there's no express pass for it. Um, you have to just wait in line. The ride is short, and they move people through very, very, very quickly, which means we only waited 45 minutes to get on that ride, and that was on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. So if you look at Velocicoaster, I mean, in the middle of the day, um, that's crazy because it's a new attraction, mm -hmm. but holy cow was that fun. Holy cow. It is majorly intense. If you stand there and look at it, you're going to see what it does with this, with this, and this, and all of this upside down, and you're upside down for a while, and these hard banks. Um, while you're riding it, you have no idea what's happening. It, it's a launch coaster, so you go up to a certain point, 
and then you hear the whole thing just starting to churn like the the dinosaur is getting angry and boom you go and next thing you know like you're it is pretty smooth as coasters go for as fast as it you're going smooth. it was pretty smooth um because i did not get any kind of jarring of my neck or head or headache afterwards um but wow, was that fun. That was crazy ridiculous. So speaking of VelociCoaster, I have a pit and a peak that go with that. So mm -hmm. I offered to hold everyone's sunglasses, hats, backpacks, cell phones, whatever they did not or weren't able to bring with them on the roller coaster, which is basically nothing. Yeah, so yeah I that's offered... the thing too. You cannot bring anything with. Um, if you have a cell phone, right. it better be shoved in your pocket because it's the type of ride where things will fly out. No hats, yeah, nothing but. So, because I wasn't gonna ride it, I offered, but your underwear. I offered to hold everything for everyone and I thought, you know what, I'll just go get myself a snack and I'll sit in the shade and catch up on some social media. So, um, a, about a week before our trip, I had gotten my new debit card because mine had expired and I called and activated it. So I got in line and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get a Coke and some popcorn, but you know what? I think I'm going to get the refillable big plastic mug because it's a good deal. And if we're thirsty, Joe and I can share it. And it's like, I don't know, a couple dollars to refill it. It was totally worth it to pay for the refillable mug. And I thought I'll just get the refillable popcorn bucket too because Joe and I wanted to do a comparison of Disney and Universal popcorn. Flash forward, that did not happen. So I got ordered the popcorn bucket with the popcorn and I'm going to pay and they're like, your debit card's been declined. I'm like, what? They're like, yep, it's saying decline. I'm like, well, can you try it again? So they tried it like three times, it kept denying it. I'm like, this is so crazy. I'm like, well, I don't have any cash on me. This is my only form of payment. That's just what I carry around with me. And I wasn't there. I was riding the yeah, ride. Yeah, and they were all riding the ride. So I'm like, well, this is really embarrassing and crappy. Now what am I going to do? So the people behind me, there was a family behind me, and they're like, hey, we'll get it. We'll pay for it. I'm like, oh, no, 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 that's not necessary. And they're like, no, 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 we got it. So it was like $31 for the refillable mug with Coke in it and the popcorn bucket with popcorn. And they treated me to it. So... If anybody tells you a story about the poor girl who didn't have any money and they bought her a, a Coke and popcorn, <laughs> that was me. Sure. And I want to say thank you because that was totally unnecessary and totally sweet. So I took my popcorn and my Coke, my tail tucked between my legs because it was very embarrassing. I went and sat down and I called Chase. And I guess it turns out that I didn't properly activate the card because it took them all of 10 seconds to <laughs> redo it. For me. So that was a pit because it was embarrassing, but a peak because there are nice people, kind yeah. people in this world who yeah. do good things. Yeah, well, and that was very much appreciated. Hopefully more than a few, but yeah, yeah, that was cool, definitely. Uh, it was yeah. very, very yeah. cool. So that was yeah. a pit and a peak. Yeah, well, that's good though. That it made your time go by quickly. You didn't have to wait for us. Yes. Kind of felt bad initially because you know you're just going to yeah. sit around waiting. But no, it was, I was very, very I was fast. totally cool with it. I like the queue for Velocicoaster as well. And as you get up closer to getting on the ride, they have a big video screen set up where uh, you have Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard and their characters from Jurassic World, and they're kind of going back and forth. And Chris Pratt is wait, wait, we're we're on a live feed now. They can hear me. Everyone, get out. Take your stuff and run. This is going to end badly. So it was very, very cool. Um, so, yeah, the ride itself was great. And then, okay, big, big peak when it comes to Universal is the Harry Potter stuff. Wow. Holy cow. The detailing with all the Harry Potter stuff, which am, we had not seen yeah, before. Yeah, and I'm not a fan of Harry Potter. I did read the books with, with some of the kids when they were little. Maybe well, it was just Matt and Tim. you make it sound like you remember. don't like Harry Potter. But no, you're but just I was not never like it. a big fan. Yeah. Like there's some like die hard yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry Potter you're fans. Just I'm just it. not one of them. And I could so appreciate the detail and time and effort that went into that part of the parks. Oh yeah, definitely. Wow. Amazing. Very, and I very know cool. that not being a fan, there's probably so much I missed because mm -hmm. I didn't know what to look for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wow. So really, really like that. That was amazing. Um, then as we go to Disney, I'm going to say definitely a peek there are the different cast members that we interacted with. Definitely. Um, we did a Caring for Giants tour at uh, at Animal Kingdom. Big peak. And then the Savor the Savannah. Huge and peak. And for both of those tours, the cast members, the guides, people we interacted yeah. with, just really, really great. I had a nice conversation with so many of them. Mm -hmm. um, so Steph was at the desk when you first check in. Um, and Meg was our 
tour guide for the Savor of the Savannah. Meg, if you're watching, shut up, Meg. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. And we're going to have full kind vlogs of, yeah. coming out <laughs> on Caring for Giants and Savor the Savannah. Yes, definitely. Because we're, we were able to film on the Caring for Giants tour, which we didn't think we'd be able to do because yeah. it's kind of set up exactly like the Rhino tour, but we were able to film. So. Yes, there's some backstage you couldn't film, but then you're, when you were on stage, you yeah. could. So, so we're going to have all the details for that in a vlog Just had some great up. interactions with some of the cast members, the Disney mm -hmm. cast members. So really, really enjoyed that. That was cool. Staying at Royal Pacific at Universal Studios. That was a peak, that was a nice hotel. Right. Again, yeah. I think it's in need of some updating, but we're gonna have a full room tour, a resort tour. Mm -hmm. We'll get more in depth there when we do those yep. videos. I think a pit for me, unfortunately, we were not able to get over to see Portofino. Yeah. I really wanted to see that resort. But we just got everything was so jam packed tight that we weren't able to get over there. But to I see think it. we'll be back at Universal mm -hmm. sooner yeah. than later. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I mean, overall in general, I think there were just a few couple little pits of things. Mostly but, peaks. Yeah, mostly peaks. I mean, overall. And then I think to, to just kind of wrap things up for the peaks, I think a peak was last night in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> so, the funny story is that we finished with Savor the Savannah. And it was getting very close to Clark Park closure. Um, Jed's like, well, why don't we stop and get a drink? So Let's stop at Dawa Bar. We stop at Dawa Bar, and Stephen and Arianne is there. We're there. We're all They're drinking. They're like, yeah, just let's do it. Chatting away. Next thing you know, the skies open up. It's just it was like a, a wall soon. of water. And we waited. Oh, well, I should say, prior to that, it started sprinkling just a little bit. So <laughs> Meg and the rest. Uh, on the Savor of the Savannah tour, started handing out rain ponchos. You know, the you really know, nice $20, 25 The ponchos. Walt Disney rain ponchos, yeah. yeah. So they started handing them out to everybody, and there's one person who decided, eh, I don't need a poncho, it's going to stop raining. Joe may have a bad choice, but it's good that he has a great wife because she had ponchos in her purse. But they were... They were, they were punches. small, but they they did they served the purpose of keeping the camera dry. Yes, so that's true. That could have been a, a serious nightmare. It was big enough to keep the camera dry. Um, otherwise, you would have been carrying the camera. Yeah. Or I would have taken yeah. your poncho and you would have been without a poncho. No, not me. Not me. Anyway, you think I would have learned that lesson a few years ago when Ashley and I got stuck mm -hmm. at Animal Kingdom and it was raining and I was just so but most people, but anyway. most people would think raining at, at Disney would be a total pit. We had so oh, much no, it was fun a running through the rain when we thought it had subsided only for it to pick up again. Yeah. And we had to take cover in Creature Comforts, which is Animal Kingdom Starbucks. Yeah. And we had Steve kind of leading the way and weaving us in and out because there were like puddles, puddles that Lakes. were. Yeah, I actually um, had to buy a new pair of shoes because it ruined my shoes. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Um, so, so that it, was a bit of a pit, it was but fun, it was though. so fun running through the rain and we were all well, laughing. Well, technically, we were not running because even if you ran, there's no getting away from it. You're gonna be wet. No, regardless. but we were walking fast. Yeah, we were trying yeah. to be strategic in where we went, and that yeah. was we just had so much fun. We were soaked. <laughs> we were soaked. <laughs> It was funny. But it was, it so, was very yeah. fun. So it was a good way to wrap things up for the week mm -hmm. or the weekend. Yes. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It was overall a really, really good trip. It was. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to leave you there. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the next Jen and Joe on the go action because we're going to be back home, back to normal. We're going to do some more local restaurant dining reviews, but we'll be back to Florida in May yeah. for a really long trip. And then that baby's coming. Mm -hmm. Right after that. That baby's so coming. a lot going on so this year. So stay tuned. There's a yeah. lot coming up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So um, yeah, appreciate it. I'm going to have a lot of videos from this trip. We still have to finish up the January We're videos. We're almost done with January. Get into all these. And we do have quite a bit with a lot of detailed mm -hmm. information on some of the stuff that we did. So anyway, thank you as always for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye, Bye for now.